Mark, are you staying? Have a drink. Are you sure? It's your night, yeah? Um, <laughs> listen, Mum, you don't ever have to feel lonely because me and Grant are always here for you. Tim, Tim, come on, there you go, love. Hey, I'll tell you what, happy families. Happy families. <laughs> <laughs> go on, Peggy. Go on, girl. <laughs> Oh, and uh, thanks for looking after her. You never know, this time next year you might be looking after two of them. What? Me and Tiffany have decided to have another baby. Why? So you can control her? You don't give a toss about anybody but yourself, do you? What are you talking about? You saw me frightened out my life the other night. And you came home and told Tiffany it was nothing. So she didn't bother coming round to see me. So you could keep her in bed all weekend. That ain't true. Don't lie to me. All right. I admit, I never told her how upset you were because the state you're in, you could have said anything. Well, maybe I should tell her before she gets pregnant again. Is that really what you want? You would kill her if she found out. Don't pretend you care about her. Of course I care about her. I love her. <laughs> Tiffany is the love of my life. I never knew it till now, but I'm never going to forget it. So why were we nearly kissing again the other night? Because there's something between us. You know there is. Don't give me that. You just used me for sex when she wasn't giving you any. And now that she is, you just want me for babysitting instead. That's right, Louise. This is all my fault. This had nothing to do with you. Now you go try and explain that to Tiffany. Well, go ahead. I mean, I can't stop you, can I? Well, go on, she's downstairs. I don't want to tell her. 